Oh. Ah, nein. <laughs> Trash. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my elbow pimple. I actually mean it. I actually mean it. I don't know if this should be like um, carried on to YouTube, but I never had an elbow pimple and it really hurts. I'm glad you're here. How does it work? Are there hormones in my elbow? Huh? Guys, please don't fight. This is actually a video about my cats, kind of. So in this video, I will be crafting with my cat's hair, yes. This video is about this book by Kaori Tsutaya. It is a really, really wholesome book about how to craft with your cat's hair. And I actually saw this video from Mariah Elizabeth. I don't know if you know her, she's just a really amazing, talented and funny YouTuber who posts about art, who posts about, who posts about art, who posts about art, who, <laughs> who posts about art and crafts. Oh, okay. Stop farting. And I just really love her videos. And she posted this video about this book. And I know I'm not a arts and crafts, creative painting channel. This book just really kind of stole my heart. I think this is such a wholesome and cute idea. And you guys know I, I kind of love my cats like a little bit too much anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I just felt like I need to buy this book and I need to try this too. And I need to make my own finger puppets, finger cat puppets. I am not talented when it comes to arts and crafts. I mean, I can kind of like draw stuff, but I can only draw one certain thing, like anime eyes. Maybe I'm better than I think because I never do it because I don't really enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like if I do it with my cat's hair, then it might be more enjoyable. What are you guys doing? Stop fighting! How can I feel like this? This is the most unprofessional behavior on set. Yes, Taku, just leave. Just leave, mind your own business. Just don't do- This is a video about you and this is how you present yourself? <laughs> All right, everyone, let's get crafty. Oh, someone farted. <laughs> what the fuck? I do have my materials. I did face a problem when it came to the cat hair. The problem is with taco and chili, they don't really produce much cat hair. I mean, they do in the house. But like, if I brush them, chili basically doesn't give off anything. Oh. And tuck maybe a little bit. Then I asked a friend of mine if she could give me some of her cat's hair. Just kind of a weird request. She was like, I have more than enough. I'm gonna some. She even sent it to me. Thanks for that, Sonia. Shout out to Kanal. I wanted to film this video like a couple of days ago and I wanted to craft something with uh, Tacos, Chili's, and Shelly's hair. I realized I don't have Shelly's hair anymore. Maybe I threw it away. I don't, I don't know. I lost the cat hair in my apartment. This is the cat hair from Taco and Chili, which I harvested. And maybe you can see there is some chili in there. Chili is in there. So yeah, this is what I head from my cats and this is definitely not enough so what did I do I basically asked every single person in my surrounding who has cats if they could give me some of some their of cat them. hair <laughs> Here's the other cat hair I got. This is from Corinna. She's Oscar's cat. But I also gotta give a shout out to these two donations. This is from Susa. She's a very cute cat too. She's also a rescue. And this precious donation is from Luki. He's also very cute. I do not know him personally, but I think this is um, a great contribution to this project. <laughs> Ladies and gentle cats. We are gonna craft a cat finger puppet. I quickly gotta say no cats were harmed in the making of this book. Upon first glance at this book anyone might think but it's really quite simple. I just think this book is so wholesome. Wholesome? <laughs> this is like a step-by-step -step how you make your finger puppet and it's really well explained actually so if I could not get this done then I would be a stupido. Look and there's so many cats in this book. It's so cute. Look at all cat babies. Oh, are you okay? oh this is not a real cat. But look at cat. You can't see it but look at the mittens. Let's get started. This just looks illegal. <laughs> Tacos and Vincent's room and I can hear Vincent 
cursing. <laughs> so first off, we're gonna need to make a pattern. I think it's actually gonna be perfect for my finger. I think that's actually the right size. So I'm just gonna use this and use it as a pattern for a new one because I bought cardboard. I feel kind of bad for destroying this book, but sacrifices have to be made. I'm so good at cutting stuff. Look, we got a little, we got a little finger. Um, this. Wow, that is some sturdy cardboard. Damn, that's thick. Me being impressed with cardboard. I do not have a pen. <laughs> oh, actually, oh my God, I do. Look, we also got a contribution from Takuo for this pen. Okay, this is kind of weird because I never do things like this in my free time. And I probably never did something like this on my channel. Why am I talking about this as if it's like the craziest thing ever? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's always like, where's taco? Do you still have taco? Why is it only chili always? And the only answer to that is taco is a loner. He likes to be with you, but like not all the time. While is chili likes to be with you all the time. Like he loves his humans. Ow, I cut myself on my cutting mat. How is that even possible? What the fuck? <gasps> Achievement of the day. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> so first thing we're gonna do is wrap our pattern in plastic wrap. I mean, I originally wanted to make chili and taco, obviously, but I'm basically doing a fusion out of many different cats. So I feel like the cat I'm making right now should have a name. It should be a completely new cat. Yay. I'm gonna be happy about like the smallest achievements today, okay? Please just be happy with me. Please just say well done <laughs> Because otherwise I will not be making it through this video. Man, I'm such a drama queen <laughs> Now I should just apply some clear packing tape It's a little, a little dress. It's a leather jacket I'm so good at this it's our nameless cat so far. I hope she will get a name. He will get a name. They will get a name. Maybe it's a non-binary cat. Now comes the special part. We're gonna add all the cat hair around it. We're gonna take mostly taco because, well, obviously, <laughs> taco is my cat. So. <laughs> Lay the waterproof pattern on a sheet of cat hair and wrap the hair around it. So I'm basically just gonna create a sheet of cat hair and I'm gonna place this on top. There's actually some hair uh, from me in there, some pink hair. Oh, what is all of that? Oh, I totally forgot to tell you about something. I didn't just collect cat hair. I do have three cat whiskers in total. Don't worry, I didn't rip them out or anything. They were literally just laying on the ground. The cool thing is I can just put them into my piercing hole and then I have cat whiskers. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Arigato! Yeah. Oh my god, it tickled so much. That is the most amazing thing I've ever done. Let's get back to the video. So we're gonna wrap this in taco and chili. How do I... Yeah, we're gonna puzzle cat together. This is what we got. This is very fragile. Has a little brown gray belly and a black ear. Now we shall place the fur wrapped pattern on plastic wrap and add the liquid detergent mixture. So this uh, detergent mixture is basically just water and detergent. So now we're gonna place our cat and we're gonna add this and just scrub it, rub it. Be careful because if you rub too hard, the hair will stick together in places and open up. Yes! Why do you see the camera so well all of a sudden? Did I move the camera? Did I move the table? I got it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay, the black hair actually looks a little bit like pubes. <laughs> you gotta pinch the ears together. Welcome to the turntables. Our turntable today is a cat. Okay, now I basically just need to wash it very softly. Look at this one long hair. <laughs> this one ear. <laughs> That's what I call personality. Now me proceeds to wash a little finger puppet. And here we have the washed little cat. I just put her into this towel and just like pressed her dry. It's easy to wash cat hair in water. 
about washing the hairs. Oh no, me. It's a much bigger job because I hate getting wet. When Taco and Chili were sick, like they had Giardia. I don't know if you know what it is. It's basically a parasite, a really horrible one, which makes them diarrhea a lot and throw up a lot and not eat. So back then I had to wash Taco every fucking day. Here's a little pic of Taco uh, when we washed him. He absolutely hated it, but he kind of let me do it because I mean, he didn't have much choice. Okay, well, I guess it's time to iron, hmm? Look at my iron, it's horrible, I hate it. Vincent hates it too and it's also broke. I uh, broken. <laughs> you broke ass bitch. Oh, we're gonna iron our little friend. I don't really know what this step is for. <laughs> Oh, Vincent's coming home at the right time. I'm ironing a cat. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, we're gonna cut her open now. We're gonna get naked. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, you can get naked. I'm not here to stop you. You gotta cut off the bottom. Look, that's the tail. Now we're gonna take it out. <gasps> okay, now we're gonna cut off the flyaway hair so it is normal that mine looks like this i thought i did it wrong but actually it's completely right and we're just gonna cut off all of this on the side oh this is so satisfying i love this it's the best thing ever just gotta stick my finger in there oh my god it's working look a perfect fit <laughs> this is so good and now we're gonna basically just use all of the other hair I have to make a second one because I have it and I actually kind of think it's kind of fun. <laughs> Let's uh, do another one. A song, a song while I am crafting with cat hair. Maybe I should craft a little chair. Imagine that a cat had chair. It might be gross, but it would be a very soft. And now satisfying moment. Time for the hairdresser! Let's slip in there. Oh yeah. All right, everyone. Here are our two cats. I think the second one got a little thicker because I used more fur. I like the first one because it has character. It has all three, four, five cats together. And this one is just Corinna. So this one is gonna be called Corinna. I am going to decorate them. So first off, I'm gonna decorate the nameless cat. I do have some thread from Vincent here. I also got some black beads. I think that will actually be amazing. It'll bead amazing. So I think we're just gonna glue it on. I'm gluing it on with a hot glue gun. What the surgery? All doctors to the ER. And I think I'm gonna go with some blue thread. I'm wrapping it around like a scarf. My fingers are too fat for this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I did it. Let's just cut this off. I bought a little bell. How do I attach this? Oh, I should have tied it. Run! <laughs> I'm so dumb. Ah, oh, I did it. <gasps> I'm gonna glue on the whiskers, which I put into my nostril. Oh my god, it works! <laughs> Wait, I need to Google cats. Oh my god! I love them. Let's do the other one now. Let's do some red eyes. Oh my god, this color looks so good with the fur. I wanna just like make a little bow tie. A bow tie for Corinna. What the fuck? It's just so crocked. Does this look like a um, bow tie to you? Oh my god, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And she's gonna get like normal whiskers because I don't have any more of my collected whiskers. <laughs> I mean, maybe eyeliner is also not the best tool to draw onto cat hair. I mean, she does look a little soulless because of her red eyes, but I feel like that's kind of a look. So here they are, the end results. I am so happy, they are so cute. And I think now is the time to actually give him a name or her. Good morning, madam. Hi, good morning, sir. How's your day been? Well, actually, very, um, uh, um furry. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> uh, there was no joke, I just laughed because this is an awkward situation. Hello, Tucky. Look, I got something for you. That's a little bit of you. Ooh. Taco, don't eat that. Taco! Oh no, oh no. Okay. 
<laughs> You're like going crazy. Taku, stop eating it. Ah, that's my finger. I'm glad they appreciate them. Oh, I'm kind of disgusted. <laughs> Why? That's our cats and three other cats. <laughs> and look, I even glued his uh, whiskers on. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to put one on? No, I'm I'm good. Cute. Come on, Eliko. Come on. There's chili snot on this one. <laughs> this is the only exception when you're allowed on the table. All right, guys, so uh, that is it for this video. I hope uh, you liked it, even though it was a little different than my usual content. I just wanted to try out something new, and I feel like the cats really enjoyed this. He's sitting right in front of my microphone. Oh my god, he literally just sat down there. Please uh, comment down below what we should name this non binary cat. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on. Naomi John on and the Naomi John on I hope you can understand me because Taco's like in right inside of my microphone. Maybe it's like a little bit of a wind protection. Hey tomorrow. Oh my god, wie tief war das denn drin? Hör auf, also was gelacht. And don't forget to turn post notifications on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Let's go cats, huh? Shall we? Come on, go now. Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on. Time to go. Time to go. I'm gonna go. Mm-hmm. <laughs>